After the gospel is proclaimed and the homily is preached on Ash Wednesday, the priest, deacon, or extraordinary minister of Holy Communion will place ashes on our foreheads. This is an ancient symbol of repentance. As they do so, a phrase will be said to us to remind us of what this symbol is really all about. There are two options given by the liturgical text. The first is, remember man that you are dust, and from dust you shall return. This has its roots in sacred scripture from the Old Testament. In fact, it's taken from the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 3, verse 19. By the sweat of your face shall you get bread to eat, until you return to the ground from which you were taken. For you are dirt, and to dirt you shall return. The other phrase that we are given, the option of using in our liturgy, comes from the New Testament, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verse 15. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Two prayers are derived from Mark chapter 1, verse 15. Turn away from sin and be faithful to the gospel and repent and hear the good news. What are we being asked to do in Lent by these prayers? First, to remember that God is God, we're not, and thank God for that. God is creator and we are creature. Without God, we're dust. Second, the entire season of Lent is about turning from the stain of sin and allowing the Lord, who is the kingdom of God incarnate, into our lives. This Lent, may we allow the kingdom of God to take root in our lives, leading us from the ashes to the glorious light of new life at Easter.